Hello, I'm back from Japan and I bought an egregious amount of stuff. So much so that really a lot of this I just did not need. Why did I buy too much stuff? So much so I actually had to mail a whole box. A whole box. And this wasn't cheap either. This was not cheap. All right, but whatever. You know what? Hey, if you're watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed because about 80% of you are not subscribed. And if you want me to keep on making quality content, I suggest you do so. You only live once, YOLO, as they say. All right, so this, I'm gonna go through all the stuff I bought in Japan, ooh hoo hoo. Okay, first thing off, we have this Yudu camp, laid back camp. Uh, these are actually cookies, I bought two of these. This one I'm gonna keep closed. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I won't, I don't know. But um, it comes with a nice little like, see-through polaroid kind of not really polaroid like picture frame thing so then you could have one of the what's her name pink hair girl or shimarin pose with the background through the photo okay next is some curry mm, if you don't know curry is amongst one of my top five most favorite food maybe even top three maybe even my favorite all right so the whole reason i went to uh, japan really was because of gargura and her uh, collaboration with the Sendai Uminomori Aquarium Gararium and this is the t-shirt yeah nice that looks like that'll that'll fit just nicely look at that Gararium all right next this came out of nowhere honestly I had no idea this was happening it's an Oshinoko um, exhibition in Sendai and this is like a nice little acrylic panel I got I think I, I want to hang it on the wall somehow, some way, somehow. Very cute art though, from the exhibition. This is from a Mandarake in, uh, I think this is the Mandarake in Akihabara. Mandarake, if you don't know, is a secondhand uh, anime goods, DVDs, general like just weeb stuff store. And this was a K-On something, I don't know what it is. I think it's an art book. But it comes with little keychains. And for the low, low price, I think, of $30, not bad for an art book with keychains. How to create Bochi the Rock. I got this one from Animate. Okay, yeah. So it's like a nice little guidebook kind of thing filled with art of the characters, various other stuff. I think there's an interview section, yeah. Interview section. Model sheet interview and special. Okay, cool. Next, hoo -hoo, there's a story to this one. So, of course, as you can see, this is a Bolchi the Rock t-shirt, Kesoku Ban. And I got this shirt at the IRL setting of Bolchi the Rock, uh, Shimo Kitazawa. It was definitely amongst my favorite uh, locations that I visited during this trip. Also at the Village Vanguard, I got the sticker. <laughs> I love curry. I'm gonna put that in my violin case later as well as a bunch of other stickers I bought, like this onigiri one. I just thought it looked really funny, and I love onigiri, so. All right, next is a tote bag, the Gargura Gararium tote bag. Here it is. Gararium in Senda Umino Mario Aquarium. All right, next on top here is a postcard of Tokyo Sky Tree. Yeah, nothing crazy there. Next up is this Gargura sticker. This is a charm. That's what you call these, right? Like a good luck charm kind of thing. I forgot what this one's, <laughs> exactly what this one is. But I got it in a Yamanashi. Oh, I think this one, I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is just another general good luck charm. I have the, I have the other version of this. I think, I'm pretty sure this one is from uh, this in Soji in Asakusa. Okay. Oh yeah, um, so the artist of Girls Last Tour did a, or had a pop-up store, and they have another series, I forgot what it was called, something Simulation, and they had a pop-up store, and I just thought the shirt was just great. <laughs> Watashi wa gomi da yo. Literally means, I am garbage. More stickers, I got some more laid back camp stickers to put on my violin case. Chill time, you do camp with my favorite character from the show. Okay, this one, this one, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I got 
what's your name? Owie? Ow, Owie? Owl? From a uh, Hall of Regloss. I got this one and, and not Rodden because I was like, oh yeah, it's blue, so it'll match my violin case. I should, I, sh I kind of, I kind of wish I got uh, Rodden. Uh, oh, this is another charm right here. Not gonna lie, I don't remember what this one <laughs> does or what it's supposed to be. Has a cool dragon on it though. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So I kind of just. Uh, I, I found this. I found this. Just how I found the uh, Audio Makana vending machine advertisement. I found this. Yeah. So it's a plastic bag of a Pecora's concert Mega Me. Oh yeah. Hall of Life City Attractions postcard of Myth. I don't have this. So I was like, hey, I'll take it. Why not? I think this is another sticker. I thought this. I thought this was pretty cool. It's like a uh, laid back camp X Hall of Life kind of thing. Uh, a ticket to the Mount Fuji ropeway. Wow, where you can see a great view of Mount Fuji and Lake Kawaguchi. Oh, another laid back camp sticker. Oh, another postcard. This one of the Buddha statue in Kamakura. Oh, wow, it's another like good luck charm thing. Cool. Oh, it has the statue engraved, carved into that piece of wood. All right, that makes four charms. Kind of overkill, but all right. Oh, these are the Gurarium uh, Gotcha keychains. Gura Eel Sushi. Adorable. There's seven different types of that one. Here's a, I think this is called a something sturgeon, some kind of fish. Next one. Oh yeah, this is the last one I got. You'll see the struggle it took to uh, to get this one from the gotcha. It's like the main one. Adorable. I love Gur. This one is the clam oyster thing. I forget. It's one of those shelled creatures. The isopod one. I like this one. We still haven't got to my favorite one though. Yep, my favorite one. <laughs> this one is just too adorable. It's the Gargara Penguin. Bro, can we can we get this as an official outfit, please? Please? That would be gold. This picture of this guy. I forgot his name. He looks sick though. Look at him. This sweater. It's called Red Cap Girl, the like the clothing line. I thought it was really a nice and aesthetic. Really good quality feeling too, super soft. Ooh, yeah, I got this. The Hollow Nina. Okaryu acrylic stand. Here's the Gura Gurarium acrylic stand with her smorgasbord of food on the table. Here's another Gargura acrylic stand from the aquarium. Adorable, adorable. Have a pack of postcards of Fuji. I thought it was just one. Oh yeah, so this is the last variant of the Gura keychain. Gura dolphin. There we go. Nice little metal statue of it. And also from the uh, Oshinoko exhibition, they had a cafe with special drinks. And with every drink you get, you get a, uh, a random, like these are coasters, I guess. They had like 12 different types. And these are the ones I got. And there was only one Kana type and I didn't get the Kana. I did get Mem Cho though, which is not bad. She is, she is really cute, so. She do, she, she do be a YouTuber though, so there's that. Oh yeah, the ticket for the exhibition. Ooh, this one I, I did not get because I, I couldn't participate in it uh, last trip. But this is the Gargara Hololive Airline acrylic stand figure. And this, I just, I, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't buy when it came out the first time. But it's the Gura Connect the World acrylic stand. Of course I bought it when I saw it. Kabam. So this is this came as a extra quote unquote gift uh, when I bought the Shonen Jump magazine, I think is what it is. Hall Live edition. Or some kind of magazine. That's where Hall Life was featured, and then when you buy that, you get 
one of like six different types. I got Suse, which I'm very happy about. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is just a, nice, a little like pen flip poster from the Live House in Shimukitazawa shelter. And these are like the bands that performed. And I got them to, I got some of the members to sign it. Yahoo. Oh yeah, another fortune from the Sinsoji. Last time I got the best fortune, this time I got the last in small fortune. And then here's the second time I went where I got even more uh, band members to sign. An Oshinoko poster from the exhibition. Very cool. Then the Gura clear files. And this is one thing I don't, I don't think I'll ever understand about Japan. It's their obsession with clear files. Like people collect clear files. I, I don't I don't get it. But I mean, this is cool because it's Gura. We have this one. It's literally folders. This one, I like this one a lot. I just think her outfit's adorable. It looks, like a, it looks like a magazine cover, this one. The final one, with all the different uh, designs from the keychains. The, the acrylic panel, I mean, of Guerrero. Nice piece of art. I'm very happy it didn't break. Nice. It's just that big main art spread of Guerrero. Then, oh yeah! Posters! <laughs> Not really posters, but like little advertisement pamphlet kind of thingy. Here's a t-shirt from one of those bands I saw at the live house, Yenma. Here's, there's, there's a story with this. Big old poster of, uh, what's her name, Mio? Mama Mio? So, uh, these were sold out at the Sky Tree, the Tokyo Sky Tree shop where they were selling these. Um, they were sold out. And some dude saw that I was wearing my Okami Mio hoodie, and he had duplicates of these, so he sold it to me for the price it was actually selling for, which was about 700 yen, like five dollars. I then I then came to find that these are just all over the place in different <laughs> anime stores. Like I found I found these in Animate. I found these in like Under Rocket even I think, but um, still pretty cool that I was some dude sold that to me. Next is a Bolchi the Rock t-shirt, of which I actually got from the IRL Bolchi the Rock again. Uh, this shirt I got in the second time I went, this shirt I got in the first time I went. It's a nice little chibi art. These will probably just be house, house t-shirts, honestly. From the Red Cap Girl clothing line. Kinda, kinda stained it, whoops. It's got a, kind of a blue, white and on the back I came to find it has a uh, some uh, typos red cap girl every day is a good day laid back I want I want to something but I don't know what I want to do yes I want to something as well uh, this is a Hosho Marine t-shirt official merch second hand I don't think it's worn I'm not sure Ooh nice yeah, nice Hoshomarine red striped shirt. Has a nice little pirate ship right there embroidered. Her little logo symbol thingy, the heart. And on the back, more embroidery, Hosho Pirates. Here's a figure I bought from a A-Stop, which is a second-hand figure store. And it actually comes with this really awesome guitar. I got this uh, Miku, Miku Nakano from Quintessential Quintuplets because I thought it was adorable and it was for like a crazy good price. Heck yeah. I think it's called the date, the date time or date version figure. If you want to look it up online. Well, here's a Hololive art book, the Pixiv collection. 2023. It has Mumi on it. Very nice. I'm going to look through that later. Ooh, another piece of Gerarium merch. The big old pillow, which I'm going to open right now. And it inflates. There you go. It puffs up. 
There we go. Gerarium pillow. Nice. That'll go over there. Okay, here's another figure. This one is Suse. Relax time. Really good price on this one. I think it was like 16 bucks or something like that. Very cute. Addition to the Relax Time Hollow Life figures that I have. Figurine of Tokyo Tower. These are the Tokyo Station Hollow Life acrylic stands. They had Sakura Miko, Mori Calliope, and of course, the best, Gargura. This is a Yuru Yudu Camp cookie, another cookie. It's a nice little metal tin, so I'll actually be able to open this one nicely. Oh, whoa, cool. Comes with like Fuji shaped cookies. <laughs> I'll definitely be trying that in a bit. Shinobu from Monogatari, huh? Uh, she is my favorite character from the show though. And this was honestly a really cool pose that she was doing here. Look at that, that looks so cool. She's doing like some kind of kick. That's awesome. And she has her little hat. Whew. All right, this one, uh, I'm not gonna lie, kind of feel like I got scammed because it was definitely a tourist trap, but I, I don't know. I couldn't say no. It was a nice old lady and she was just trying to sell stuff. And I thought it was pretty cool, so why not? It's like this nice little folding art of Fuji. I picked like the cheap, one of the cheaper ones. This is one of the cheapest ones they were selling. It was definitely a tourist trap. This is definitely overpriced, I think, but... All right, cool. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Here's a little Gura. Have something in the background, take a picture. Wow, 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 there's a lot of stuff. Okay, here's more Gura merch. A little Gura. I don't know what this thing is called. It's like a cardboard thing. Gura, Gura. Post another like cardboard paper thing. Bunny version. I don't know where these are from, but Hall Life Airline. Oh, here's the acrylic stand of Gura chopping some wood. Hollow listening. I think this is a uh, English learning book they made. And I guess really, if if you could read the uh, the Japanese, then it could be reversed. Hollow life L learning book. Wow. Another charm. Ooh, this one's cool. What the heck? It's a golden ball. It has a bell inside. There it is. The Tokyo Sky Tree Magnet. That'll be going on the fridge upstairs. Oh, yeah! These freaking things! The, uh, small... The small... Figures. <laughs> these are freaking adorable. Oh, I'm so happy I managed to get them all. But first one we have here from the Myth Small series is Small Ina. Here's the Kiara one. Wolfie has gone down in Hall Life history as a legend, honestly. That's so awesome. That's goals. That is goals. The one that started the Small series as a whole. Small Ame. Ah, oh, that's so iconic, honestly. This is so iconic. Next figure here is a pri another prize figure. I actually got this from a crane game that I painstakingly won. I don't know why I didn't just give up, but I put so much money into it. I was like, I came this far. I can't stop now. And in the end, I got it. It's the B Komachi style outfit of Kana. I love it. I freaking love Kana. One of the best characters in the show. But that's not the only one I got. I also ended up winning freaking Mem Cho. Mem Cho. And Gyat. I didn't realize she has the Gyat. But that's not all. There are three members in B Komachi and I ended up buying this one from an A stop because I thought I had I had Kana, I had Memcho, I got those from Crane Games. I thought, what the heck man? 
I may as well. I may as well complete the freaking set. I'm not, not, I, don't, I don't really care for Ruby if I'm being completely honest, but hey, I had to complete the set. Nice little wooden statue figure of, of that samurai dude on the horse from uh, Sendai. Next is another crane game. Uh, another crane game prize. It's another Kana figure, of course. This one being a really adorable chibi version. It's kind of similar to the one I got back in July. Very cute, very adorable. Oh, this is from the Sky Tree. Oh yeah, some more Hollow Life Sky Tree collaboration merch here. Suisei acrylic stand figure. And the acrylic panel of the members featured at the Sky Tree collaboration. Adorable little Fuji plushie. Ooh, this I got to get for free because I guess I spent so much of the animate. They were like, they have this section where you could just pick out a free book or magazine. And I chose this, the JoJo magazine. Oh yeah, so there's a bunch of JoJo stuff. Cool. Whoa, what's this? Special sticker. Wait, whoa. Ooh. That's kind of clean! This is a sticker? So it's a sticker of the magazine cover. Part 9, Jojo Lands, that's cool. Ooh, and we got this. A couple smaller stickers. I'll definitely put some of these in my violin case. We got Lisa Lisa. That's nice. Jojo Land stickers here. Alright, here's a Hollow Life City Attractions little cardboard like thing I didn't get I don't think I had this I didn't get this when I was there so I don't know where you got this but here it is cool nice <laughs> small Kelly has arrived that means all that's left is girl let's go haha <laughs> small girl dude this figure line is so iconic I hope I hope they make more of uh, the other hall I remember all right, don't know what this is, but it's a Hollow Life. Is it a manga? I think it's a manga. Hollow Life comic here, or Sora. Oh, it's a it's a light novel. Well, I kind of feel like I wasted money, but because <laughs> I can't read this, maybe I guess that means I just need to learn. All right, well, it's a it's it's a it's, it's a light novel of some sort. Has some art in it though. All right, well, cool, I guess. Okay, this is the new game art book, I think. Another art book or something. New game, complete edition, volume one. Wait, so there's gonna be more than one volume? Oh, oh dude, it's the freaking manga. Oh, heck yeah. Honestly? I'm not, I'm not, I, I thought it was an art book, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too unhappy that I got this. Freaking love new game. Even came with a little, uh, little picture thing of the two best girls from the show. Okay, this, uh, why did I buy this? I don't know. <laughs> Uno Flex, okay. I, ooh, we'll be doing an unboxing of this later. Oshinoko Vice Schwartz trial deck. And here is the magazine I was talking about that had the Hollow Live members featured on it. Yep, yep, of course it has. Whoa, wait, it has a special thing in it. Yo! I'm probably not gonna take it out, but look. I think these are bookmarks. Yeah, you can like, you can like punch them out. Little bookmarks. More Hollow Life goodness. Oh, whoa. Yo, that's cool, dude. <laughs> Hollow Life greatness in a magazine. And then the rest is just. The usual previews, or like, I don't know exactly what this is, like chap, few chapters of different series. 
All right, what is this? This one I actually don't know. I think it's an art book, but it's Hollow Life Summer 2023. Maybe I did see this. I, I don't know why I didn't buy it though. All right, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's like a bunch of animation, uh, like panel things. I don't know what you call this. Oh, dude! <laughs> Look at this. I'll show only this page. Look at this. It has a bunch of animation frames. Girl, dude. Oh, this is awesome. I like this kind of stuff. All right, this is an Oshinoko book. Oshinoko. And what, what do you know? It's an art book. Heck yeah. I'm not going to show too much of it, but yeah. Awesome art book. Whoa, oh cool, they have, of course it is by the same author, uh, Aka, Akasaka, I think is the name. Kaguya and I. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Best girl. Okay, I'm gonna look there later. Nice find there. Okay, this I got from the Tokyo Station Hollow Live store. Regloss t-shirt. It'll, it'll just be a nice, an another uh, house shirt. And here is another Hollow Live piece of merch. Holy, this is actually really huge. Wait, why is this so huge? Oh my, this is ginormous. But of course, I don't know which set this is from. Maybe her birthday. But it has a little heart here. And if you pull it down and you look through it, you have a peeking Kobo. <laughs> nice little addition there. Kind of hard to show, maybe if I, oh, uh, there we go, do it like this. Oh, that's cute. Kind of hard to see, but she's giving us a little heart. Next is, what is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's freaking Sky Tree. I got this from a gotcha pond. Tokyo Landmark, Tokyo Sky Tree. Cool. Like wafer cookie. Sticker that you get of Gura. We got a little figure of Momo Suzu Nene from Hollow Life. Nice. The Okayu collared t shirt. And bam, here it is. Nice clean shirt. Honestly, something I could wear to work. <laughs> and still low key flex and show that I am a Hollow Life fan. Has a nice little embroidery of this onigiri person thing, whatever you call it. And the tag has Nekomata Okaya. The signed Mume card, printed stamp, Gura coasters that you get when you order the food, of which I ordered both, so I got both versions. Oh, yeah, okay, so at the uh, Roppongi Hills Tokyo City View. They had a Tokyo Revengers collaboration. Again, I had no idea that was happening. I just wanted to go to the Roppongi Hills uh, Tokyo City View Tower again. But they had some free stuff they were giving away at the end of it. All right, so these are randomized and I got a sticker of whoever the heck this guy is. I don't know. I have not seen Tokyo Revengers and I probably will never watch it. Of course, I got some stickers for the violin case. So it's by the artist of, is it Kentaro Yapuki or something like that? Uh, the artist of To Love Ru, Dawning in the Franks, and then apparently these two series, I don't know. Very high quality art book, it feels like. It's a hardcover. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh some of this I can't actually show. Which is um not to be not I'm not surprised because this uh this this guy's art is a little it's a, it's, a, it's a lot not a little it's very much on the lewd side maybe I can find something that's not okay there's actually just straight up uh videos in this okay I'm not surprised though I'm not surprised here let me try to find a pay oh my goodness <gasps> what <laughs> the K on blu-ray collection this is pretty cool because i actually this this will work in uh any or at least uh us blu-ray 
Let's check out each cover. Heck yeah. Aw, freaking KO, dude. I really want to go back to, to the, uh, to the IRL school. Wait, whoa! Oh wait, the inside comes with, like, bonus stuff. Wait, yo, no way! Okay, I'm very happy I bought this now. I had no idea it came with these little bonuses. A freaking Yui guitar pick? The K on? This bookmark? With Ritsu? And then a bunch of... A whole sheet of stickers? And then of course the Blu-ray disc. This is the second one. What's in the first one? Wait a second. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a sticker of Tonchan. <laughs> the freaking turtle pet they had. And then the Yui bookmark. This one has Asuza on it. And then this is what the disc looks like. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. Wait, what? Iconic picture right here. A bunch of Mio bookmark. They're all see-through. Kind of hard to see. Pick. The Blu-ray disc. Disc number four. Death Devil. <laughs> That's a sticker of it. That's so cool. And here's the Mio bookmark. <laughs> and then we have Ui with the disc. More adorable art. These stickers are adorable. I'm 100% gonna use these. Actually, I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to like destroy it. Should I just keep it as is? I don't know. We have Mugi. This girl. I forgot her name. And bam, the disc. And what's inside of number six? Heart and uh, cat stickers there. Oh, this is like a group picture scene. Oh, another Mio pick? Another Mio pick? I think this is the second one, right? Mio. Number seven. Oh, dude. I have to use this. I have to put this on my violin case. It's the freaking Hokogo Tea Time logo. That's so awesome. And here's another... Um, bookmark thing of yet another scene. Oh, and then uh, we, have yet, we even got a little pick of Ui. Number eight. Oh, look at him on the stage. I won't. I can't read this though. Maybe I could translate it. But it has a bunch of writing on it. I wonder if this is from like the voice actors or like from the Kyoto Animation Studio. And then another pick with Mugi on it. Ah, Mio Akiyama. Best girl. Number nine. Ooh, this one's... Oh, okay. Wait, is this the freaking school? This is the school, right? It's a sticker of, like, the school, I'm pretty sure. Oh, of course, they saved that for last. Oh, the memories. I, I, I really should rewatch this. It's been a while. And then for the final pick, it's a golden one with the Hokogo Tea Time logo on it. Of course. And this disc has everyone on it. I think this is the last figure I bought, pretty sure. Noel from Hollow Live. A wall scroll kind of thing of Susei. Oh yeah, and I kept this bottle from, like, a station in Fuji, Kawaguchi Station, I think. It's like a Fuji soda. I think, I'm pretty sure they were selling it, like, in other places, but specifically, though, this one is from Lake Kawaguchi. The Sakura Miko... some kind of drink? And, of course, the Pekare Meshu. I got another bottle, just so I could actually try this. The Shiragane Noel Premium Craft Gin. I don't know. It looks like it looks like a legit. It looks like a legit drink. <laughs> like it, it comes in this box. Look at it. It looks legit. Noel's Potion Premium Craft Gin, made with ten 
botanicals chosen by Noel Shirakane. The box nice and intact. I did only get one. I wanted to get two so I can keep one like filled up, but it's fine. I'll drink this one just so we could try it. Um, we also have some Bochi the Rock random Vice Schwartz packs. Brought home a few gummies of some of my favorite gummies, the puree fruit flavored gummies. We have this Bay Bales acrylic stand slash keychain. The Amelia version, I couldn't get Gura. And then a bunch of the uh, small keychains. We have Ina, small Ame, Kiara, and then finally Amori. I think I have multiple of these as well. And then one, and one, one and only one, Gura. And here's a Susei Sky Tree keychain I got. Hall of Super Expo 2023 Gura keychain. And then this bracelet I got from a, what is it called? The Ar Ar Arakura Yama Sengen Park. And then we have these. I think these are just a bunch of little postcards, little like, picture thingies. Pretty sure that's everything that I bought. I might have missed a few things. That's just, that's probably, that's just how many, that's just how much, I can't even think, I'm tired. That's just how much I bought. But um, yeah, that's my Japan Tokyo haul. As always, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.